Okay, y'all know this is the song that I'm hearing, TLC Scrubs. And a scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly, but he's also known as a buster. Somebody's, somebody, I don't know who he is to you. We gonna see what come out. But people are starting to consider him a scrub, a bum ass ninja, okay? That's what I'm hearing in particular because people have finally picked up that the reason why he always in a partnership with somebody is because he is getting abundance off of them. No, he's not expecting them to pay for everything or provide him with a place to stay or he out here driving that car. He ain't that type of bum. He a energetic bum. He harvests energy from the women that he sleeps with. And I'm telling you, 111, these women, it's like a PSA went out. And I picked up on something like this a few days ago because one of y'all publicly spoke about how somebody was harvesting your energy. Somebody was stealing your shine, basically. Okay? And I don't know if your whole community listened to your ass or what happened, but baby, the word got out about this particular masculine. And I'm talking about they sing it from the rooftops. They don't want no scrub. They don't want him. He can't get no love from them. It's like he got a a scarlet A on his damn chest, honey. It's something like that here. Like he been marked. And people know, women in particular know that if they sleep with him, they're going to get fucked up. And this could be a piggyback off that other reading, but let's just see because it's like, this could be some one of somebody else in the collective who done laid the law down about a karmic masculine they was partnering with. They done told the truth about what will happen to you if you get with him. Okay. And ever since you done said that, he can't get no love in these streets. Nobody don't want to fuck with him. They scared almost to fuck with him. So the, the word has got out about a warlock that you was dealing with. And this war part of this warlock's claim to flat, claim to fame was to get a lot of women. But this is how he was getting them through some sort of sex magic, energy harvesting deed that he was doing. Okay? Not a cuts in reverse. And now nobody don't want to fuck with him. I'm telling you, it's like they scared to fuck with him because this is who they think he is. And this is what he was doing to you. Very codependent on your energy. He was siphoning the fuck out of your ass. The four of pentacles is on one side of you and the five of pentacles is on the other damn side. Okay? So he was tapping in to you. So you were right to think that that was what he was doing, what he is about, but it has cut off all of his energetic supply. And he's a Capricorn. Capricorn is somewhere prominent in his chart. Seven of Wands. Overly defensive or sensitive. Insufficient defense. Lacking confidence at a disadvantage. That's where he at. He's been trying to challenge these claims that you've made against him. He's been trying to tell people, no, I don't do no magic. I don't know what they talking about. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all been calling out these people that's been fucking with you and playing in your energy. You've been calling for an end to them playing with you and your energy. And it's bringing the hammer down all over. Okay, it is. Because somebody... It, people are scared of this person. They're scared of this person. They looking at him as some sort of hermit, some sort of warlock now. When they this was normally somebody who they was celebrating with, who who could be 
the life of the party even. Now they like shine away from him. You know, he giving Merlin vibes, but at a very low vibration with this white beard. Because he been going around trying to find energy sources to keep his light, his lantern lit for a long ass time now. He's been doing this for a very long time, decades, I'm hearing, at least since the early 2000s. I'm hearing like 2001, 2002, this masculine started doing this magic, sex magic with the women that he celebrates with. He figured out decades ago how to harvest energy from women and he's been doing it ever since. This is somebody who never really like went to school or got a trade or worked a steady job or you know really did he never really did anything with his life but somehow he always had money he always had things he was always able to go and travel and do and people have wondered how is this how is this capricorn energy able to have this financial freedom why does it seem like they don't never have to keep no steady job or you know, get any type of certifications or degrees to en enhance their income. He never had to do that because he do this sex magic. But if he can't have sex with nobody, he gonna fall off real fucking fast. And that's what's also been happening, justice. The scales will be balanced. It's karma. You know, He's been telling people also that they shouldn't jump to conclusions and believe this queen of swords and what she's saying. That they shouldn't make any assumptions about him. That he is a honest person. That he's wise. That he's charismatic. This is how, I'm telling you, this is how he's been showing up to people all this time. And women were fawning falling over damn near to be considered his counterpart, to have a shot at love with him. But baby, they got that, that, emo, that memo that that's his M.O. Yep, Page of Swords. And that they need to be careful. They need to reconsider those offers that come from him. That, you know, it don't matter how abundant or stable or secure it seems that he may be because part of the reason why he's so stable and so secure and so abundant is because he's harvest energy off of queen of wands feminines and he's also been trying to do something to change people's minds about him too he's been trying to do some magic to make people not think that way about him. Clarify, Holy Spirit. This is a whole warlock now. He don't want people to know he no warlock, though. That's going to mess up his whole thing that he's doing. He want people to lay this belief to rest. To He's hoping that, you know, this will pass. That's what the Six of Swords, Four of Swords means. This man is hoping that People will just forget about it. They'll transition all away from what she said about him, whatever this Queen of Swords said about him, whoever you are in my collective, okay? He's, he's hoping that he will be able to recover after this battle with you, this negative period. He's withdrawing. He gonna pull back. He not gonna try to push himself on nobody because he know that that's going to make it seem like he trying to prove a point too hard. And he wants to seem clever and self-confident and continue to, to appear as some sort of down-to-earth inspirational guy that people want to fuck with. Not no whole warlock, okay? So he's not going to force himself on anybody. He's hoping that this will pass, 
that people will forget what you said and yet he'll have some options again. That somebody will want to union unionize with him. That's what I'm hearing. Unionize with him so that his prosperity and his harvest will return. Emperor, nine of pentacles. He's very confident that somebody is going to come around. Somebody that don't know you or what you said. He may have to go off and meet this person because he was in, the, he is in the six of swords, four of swords. So this man may go off and take a little vacation because I'm telling you, whoever he is, he, he travels. Okay. He, he travels a lot. He does things. He goes places. People like, dang, what you doing there? Why, why did you go here? You know, people have questioned him about his excursions. Because again, this ain't this person probably ain't even got no damn high school diploma, 1111. I'm telling y'all, this is not anybody who has done anything significant or that can be documented to show why he's so wealthy, why he's so successful, why he's so stable. And not successful as in he got a company or two. Successful as in he always able to have money to pay his bills and go places and do things. But we don't really never really see him do nothing to get that money. I'm telling you, it's because he be siphoning it. And he knows how to alchemize that energy into prosperity, into a whole ten of pentacles. And he's pretty confident that he's going to meet somebody new that he's going to be able to woo okay with this page of wands and he's going to be back on top again that material success will return but for some reason whoever he's looking for moving forward he's going to try to union unionize with this person i heard unionize specifically 1221 he's going to try to lock her in there Clarify, Holy Spirit. He ain't even going to be out here playing around anymore like he was with this Knight of Wands, jumping from broad to broad. Because he see that that can become an issue if the word get around about him. Whoever this is, he's about... I feel like he got his eyes on somebody already, child. Whoever this Nine of Pentacles is, the lovers... So, he don't care about this tower because he already doing what he need to do to pull in this new prospect. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. At first, it bothered him. At first, he was trying to state his case. He was trying to convince people, no, nah, she lying. That ain't me. I don't do no magic. I don't be out here doing... What's energetic harvesting? I ain't never even heard of that in my life. That's what this man was saying now. But he didn't pull back. He has withdrawn from trying to prove himself to this, these women, this community, wherever y'all come from. Because he didn't found somebody else that he already is plotting on. Baby, I'm telling you. What do we need to know about this nine of pentacles? Because she don't know. She's very disconnected from the truth about this masculine, this warlock here. She ain't get the memo about his M.O. Okay. Clarify, what do, what do we need to know about this Nine of Pentacles? Hell, just 14, 14, I just heard. This reading ain't for the Queen of Swords who told on him. This reading is for this Nine of Pentacles who thinks she done met her emperor and this man is looking for a partner to have and to be able to indefinitely harvest energy from. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's what I just heard. Nine of Cups. Somebody that is going to indefinitely make his wishes come true. He's gotten to the point now where he like, if I just find me one good divine feminine that I can just slowly pull from over the next few decades, 
then I'll be all right. I'll be in the nine of cups. That'll be good enough for me. That's what he done said now. Mm, mm, mm. And whoever this nine of pentacles is, she don't realize that she's about to be sacrificed in this way. She truly feels like she didn't met this great guy who's going to make all of her wishes come true. She is even feeling as if this warlock is a part of some sort of prophecy. Is he doing spell work to make her feel this way about him, Holy Spirit? Clarify, please, and thank you. Seven of Cups. Okay. So he's definitely setting up spiritual decoys, setting up illusions in her mind about what a life is going to be like with him. This is a woman whose energy regenerates. That's also what he's discovered. That's why he's willing to go ahead and just marry her because he can pull from her. She sold her energy. It's something like that. She may have Leo in her chart, eight of swords. He knows that he can restrict her forever. She, she ain't going no down where she married this man and he ain't gonna try to overpower her he gonna just hook up his spigot. And if he marry her, he gonna have the legal right to do that. Fool. So whoever this warlock is, his cover was blown to a particular community by a queen of swords he was harvesting from. And nobody in this community really wants to fool with him anymore because the word is out that he's a warlock. The word is out that if you hang out and deal with him or are intimate with him even, you will be depleted. You will be in the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles. But he don't care, y'all, because he didn't peep and is already working on, in the physical realm, a new prospect that he plans to marry and harvest from basically until he die. He finna take this risk. Because he already see that the word is getting out about this energy harvesting. The word is out. People are aware of the fact that, you know, you can't let everybody access your energy for this exact reason here. And the word then got out wherever he been at doing this. Because wherever he was at, people ain't know shit about this energetic harvesting bit that I'm picking up on until this queen of swords exposed his ass. Clarify, these people were very, I don't want to say ignorant, King of Cups, but they, they sure didn't see him in that light. I'm telling you, he was the Three of Cups for them. He was justice for them. They loved this man. They, they enjoyed being around him. And he gave off this energy primarily because of the energy that was pre-meeting from him from these other women. That's their energy people felt. All of that loving, high-vibing, celebratory, jubilee energy he brought, that good vibe, that was a combination of all those queen of wands that he has siphoned from over, the, over decades, y'all. This man been doing this for 20 years or more, okay? So now he got him somebody that he can do this with forever. And he don't care what this community or nobody else thinks. Because she don't know. She don't know that she's going to be his source of hope and inspiration for the rest of his life. He has been laying it on thick with this nine of pentacles spiritually and on the 3D. Because he wants her to be generous to him with this star card. She, he wants her to renew his life. So he going to do what he need to do. Very quick-witted, fearless, intelligent even. He pulling out all the stops to have this new opportunity with her. So... 
whoever you are, Nine of Pentacles, because I feel like you may be the one who is listening. You just met a really great guy, but you need to ask the Holy Spirit to help you use the, the spirit of discernment when determining if this is a true divine masculine, a divine masculine for you, or is this a cycle you need to close out? Because the red flag that I'm already picking up on is how hard he's laying it on her. How thick he's laying it on. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Like this death. Death then came out here, child. Liberation and rebirth. Start of a new phase. He's, he's pushing this hard on her. He, I mean, like, this is somebody who's already talking about marriage and he just met this woman maybe a month ago. I'm telling you. That's because things are ending for him at a very expedited rate, 2112, because he ain't got nobody to pull from. She ain't let him inside there yet. He ain't went inside her love yet. He been trying to get in there, though. Because the first time they have sex, he going to throw that line of study he been utilizing for decades on her ass. And they going to be locked in. Look at this now. I'm trying to tell you. He, he just waiting on her to open up them legs. And she ain't gave him entrance yet. That he can move forward. So he been really laying it on thick for this woman to sleep with him. This is a divine feminine. But she not using her spirit of discernment. Maybe she is to a certain extent because she's not let she's not having sex with him. But as soon as you have sex with him, that's gonna be a that's it's a wrap, honey. That's all he that's all he needs you to do is open up them legs, and the next thing you know, you're gonna be in front of a damn judge saying I do. You ain't gonna know what damn happened. And it's because he's using you as a way to balance his life. Eight of Wands with the moon. You're going to become his empress, but with some contingencies. Okay? Because he got a vision for you with this strength card. You better know it. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you the truth about this man. Because I guarantee you, if you ask the Holy Spirit to show you the truth about this particular masculine, the Holy Spirit going to show you this. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else here, please? And thank you. Anything else? Knight of Pentacles. God is going to show you this plan that he has to have you here. Because you ain't going to feel good once this man start pulling from you. But he plans to pull from you in a way that's a slow, steady stream over time. He not going to suck you immediately like he sucked these other women dry because every single one of the women that are now afraid of this man whether they slept with him or not if they ain't experienced a hard story they didn't heard about it these women go from being in the three of cups with this man to the five and four of pentacles with this man knight of cups in reverse is his ultimate energy towards them once he didn't got everything he can get out of them but he sucks them dry they start falling off bad having money problems health problems car problems all kind of problems and it's because he didn't pull from them in a, such a way that they don't have the energy they need to keep their lives at a steady pace okay but this this new wife to be here she going to be, it's almost like she may not even have to work. He ain't going to require her to work because he going to use her energy to keep the money going. High priestess. Unconsciously, she is the bread and butter. Okay, 2442. So he ain't going to make her get out there and go get no job. She ain't going to feel like in no way because this somebody who's going to start having ailments. She going to go from a nine of pentacles to a nine of swords, five of wands. 
Now, I'm going to tell you what I just heard, too, because this don't even make no type of sense. This nine of pentacles may have heard the truth about this man, but she didn't want to listen, child. Now, that's what I just heard, child. Like, since she's met this man, somebody has already said to her, maybe not, ooh, I heard he a warlock, but I don't think he right. You might want to give it some time with him. Somebody already told her ass that, but she don't want to listen, child. That's what this five of wands community energy is. Somebody already told her, you better not hook up with this man. Something in the milk ain't clean. Cut the deck on the seven of wands. You might want to have your guard up to this one. He might seem like a pretty picture, but you better look a little closer at the details in the landscape. Okay, somebody done told her all of that, child. I'm trying to tell you, and she don't want to listen. It's partly because of the spiritual manipulation, and it's partly because she thinks she got her info. Let's clarify. Mm. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Seven of Swords. Somebody already told her, child. Yeah, he acting like you his ideal love choice, but it's some illusions and some deception and dishonesty to that. He got your head in the clouds on this one, honey. Somebody already done told her, and she's not listening because she in this energy right here. Because I'm telling you, that's how he laying it on, laying it on thick. But this is where she going to be at. When he get ready, when he get with her and do this sex magic, child, the energy didn't repeat itself now. About two or three times now. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else? So I don't know who listening, but if you this nine of Pentacles, you might want to reconsider. Three of Wands. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you the truth about this King of Cups. He didn't came out, I think, as everything, just about, because he a shapeshifter. And I feel like this is the second shapeshifter I done picked up on in the past couple of days. Hierophant, ask for wise counsel, ask for the spirit of discernment, because it's needed. And I'm dropping the mic. Because somebody has already tried to warn this Nine of Pentacles. And she thinks she got her a winner, child. But this man finna have her just like this. And okay, I'm about to quit for real. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.